John McCain this summer has been running a very humorous campaign, basically complaining that Barack Obama, his Democratic opponent, is being treated like a rock star by not just uh, celebrities, but also by the media who worship his every move. This is ironic for several reasons, not least of which is the fact that over the last quarter century, no Republican in national politics in America has come close to receiving the kind of favorable media treatment that McCain has. This is for a variety of reasons, one of which is that during the Keating Five scandal of the late 80s and early 90s, when John McCain was at his sort of political ebb, he realized that if he just sits back and answers every single question that a journalist asks, suddenly he's going to get more favorable treatment. He's used that approach ever since, except for the last few months, interestingly. Um, that's one reason. Another reason is that uh, for a long time, in many reporters who covered him, uh, in addition to being very charmed by the access that he gives them, they're not used to hanging out with the Republicans who they find copacetic, and they're certainly not used to hanging around with military veterans, and they're double, triple certainly not used to hanging around with military veterans who happen to have been tortured in prison for five and a half years in, in uh, Vietnam. So he has this sort of magical effect, and in the late 90s and early 2000s, he also was choosing one by one issues that journalists care about and that his own party does not. If there's anything that reporters like uh, besides access, it's a, a politician going after his own party, particularly when that party is the Republican Party. Uh, and so this has been the case with campaign finance reform in the late 90s when he was going after big tobacco. Uh, and even now, as he goes after you know big oil and oil speculators, he is playing to a media base. The great irony in all of this is that this has allowed McCain to be have a huge national profile on Tim Russert, you know, more than 50 times, uh, on Jon Stewart more than any single politician. But now that he's running against a guy who sounds an awful lot like John McCain in 2000, he's beginning to realize that it's not very fun to be on the receiving end of it.